Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Jasmine, we are trading at 0 0.008894. 24 hour volume, we are down 20%. And market cap, we are up 0%. Heading over to our chart here, four time intervals, this video is gonna cover one week, one day, two hours, and 30 minutes. Taking a look quickly on our weekly chart, you guys, we are retesting this support area here at the 8101. Take a look at how many times we've tested this area here for amount of support, and essentially in a continuation pattern of a descending triangle. It is a little alarming here in this week. We bounced really nicely, however, how long are we going to hold this area of support? And of course, the MACD indicator itself is showing us in the green for our histograms. However, again, we do need these two lines at the 0% to be able to come back and retest our 20 MA to see if there is any signs of reversal. Our FIB charts itself doesn't show us any areas of convergence. We do have a slight chance here if price again can come back and come back up to the 61% of our FIB at 96.88 to retest this area of convergence. And if we take a look at our RSI, again, we need to wait until the week is over to initiate this potential sell opportunity. So long as the white line is shown below the pink line, it is going to show us that sell opportunity itself. But if we do see a crossover and an uptrend, then that is going to be a buying opportunity that we can look into further on. Going into our daily chart here, we can see the RSI has actually switched over um, itself initiating a buy order at this candlestick we can see the candlestick itself is a doji candlestick okay so the body it's really hard to see i do apologize is at the 20 ma here we can see that the wick at the top and the wick at the very bottom is equal to itself and if price is going to come up we may find ourselves capped up at the 91 Five, two, depending on the momentum. And if we take a look at the momentum measured by our MACD indicator, we do see one, one, two, three, four, five histograms in the green. Again, not that big of a momentum. So we may actually pull back and come back down. If we take a look again at our FIB charts here, we can see prices retrace closer down to an area of support at 20. 3% at 8573 here. So watch out for this. We are considered to be overbought here at 100% for our K line and 77% of our D line. Price may wiggle up just a little bit, you guys, until it crosses over, then we are going to come down and retrace. If we take a look at our two hour time frame itself, we can see the Bollinger Bands are narrowing here. So long as we see a pinch in the Bollinger Bands, it's going to initiate a signal that the breakout is either going to be an uptrend or a downtrend. It does look pretty good so far as we are above our 20 MA and our 50 MA line. However, take a look at this. What our RSI is telling us is we may actually have a potential, again, potential buy signal here. So if we see these two lines cross over once again, RSI is going to come up. And if we see an expansion of our MACD indicator, as these two lines grow further apart, we may come back and retest the resistance of 9002. If we take a look at areas of convergence here, taking a look at two of our FIB charts, We can see at 50% and 61%, there is an area of convergence, an area of attraction and confluence. But notice too, it's around our 20 MA and our 50 MA. We can see already that the 20 MA support um, supported us through this breakout on September 7th. So long we can hold that, then we're looking for short trades as the volume itself is not supported here. Now, lastly, on our 30 minute time frame for short traders, take a look at very nicely. We're making lower high swings, candles itself, but selling pressure is on with this engulfing candle itself considered to be oversold. And that is exactly where we got our sell signal on our RSI as 93 and 82 retraced all the way up to here past our resistance line, our previous resistance on September 7th. So price is going to come back down depending on where it's going 
going to come back down. We are going to retest the 20 and the 50 MA found in the other time frames as well. And we do see a slowing momentum of our MACD indicator may pinch into more of a red zone. And if it's found near the 20 MAs or the moving averages, we may slice right through it, you guys. And again, I'm going to do this here for you for an area of convergence to take a look if there is going to be an interest of conf um, confluence. And if we take a look here, really not a whole lot except for the 50% to the 61%. The volume indicator too is very, very sporadic with a lot of nodes sparking a lot of interest, not a lot near the 61% of our FIB. But what we can see is some areas here bounced really nicely as an area of support before the initial drop on September 7th. And that price is 8842. So that's my video here for Jasmine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe to support the channel and I'll see you next time.